partner. It's joke time. Yep. All right. So, little Johnny's teacher comes into class one morning, notices that she's got a few people missing. <clears throat> she gets ready to start her lesson and everything for the day, and then here comes in Ricky. She says, "Well, where have you been, where have you been, Ricky?" And Ricky says, "Well, I've been out with a couple of my friends. We were up on top of Blueberry Hill." She says, "Okay, sit down. Uh, we'll continue the lesson." 10, 15 minutes, here comes Johnny running in class. And she's like, where have you been at, little Johnny? He's like, well, I've been up there with Ricky on top of Blueberry Hill. He's like, okay, we'll sit down, we'll continue the lesson. But here about 15 minutes or so, uh, this girl comes in. And the teacher asks her, well, 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 who are you? The little girl says, well, I'm your new student. My name is Blueberry Hill. So I got beat up in the elevator by a busty woman today. Um got a little distracted by her breasts and uh, she looked at me and asked me to press one well I did I don't remember much after that dad I got a joke for you Shoot. what do you call a virgin lying in a waterbed I don't know <laughs> cherry float <laughs> Not good. <laughs> okay, joke of the day. Lady walks into a bar, says the gentleman sitting there. I bet you I could tell a better rhyme than you. The gentleman says, Okay, you're on, ma'am. So she says, Six times six is 36, three times three is nine. I could tell length of yours, but you can't tell the depth of mine. The gentleman says, No, ma'am, I can't beat that. She takes the winnings and she starts walking down the street, runs into a bum on the road. And says to him, Mr. Bum, I'll bet you $100. I can tell a better rhyme than you. The bum says, okay, you're on, ma'am. And she says, six times six is 36, three times three is nine. I can tell the length of yours, but you can't tell the depth of mine. The bum says, sure, I can beat that. Six times six is 36, three times three is nine. I can piss in your hole, but you can't piss in mine. Imagine her response. Hey, Billy. <laughs> Jesus, another one? <laughs> What's the best thing about dating a homeless chick? Dating a homeless chick. You can drop them off anywhere. <laughs> Life changes, don't you think? It's always changing. Well, I remember a long time ago, I was dating this young lady, and and uh, she came to me and told me she was pregnant, and everything changed. Everything. I mean, my name, my phone number, my address. Everything changed. All right, what's kicking chicken? It's Squirrel, and I got another joke for you. It's this boy's talking to his dad, and he says, Dad, I don't think I'm ever going to get laid. And his dad's got this duck under his arm, and he says, Son, he said, take this duck down there to the local whorehouse to see what you can get. And he says, All right. Well, he takes the duck down there, and he finds him prostitute. She says, All right. She said, Throw him out back. Well, she threw the, he threw the duck out back, and he fucks the shit out of her. She's laying there pants. She said, if you fuck me again, I'll give you your duck bag. And he says, all right, deal. Well, he fucks her. He's walking home. Boy, he's got a smile on his face, whistling. A semi comes flying by. The duck gets spooked. He flies right out of his arm. Splat! There goes the duck. Well, the semi driver felt so bad for the boy that he gave him 25 bucks for his duck. Well, he goes home, and his dad said, well, son, how'd you do? He said, well, dad, I got a fuck for a duck, a duck for a fuck, and 25 bucks for a fucked up duck. Hey, Josie. What do you call a bunny with a crooked dick? What? Fuck's funny. <laughs> so the other day I got hit in the balls and I screamed out, Oh God, my Wonkas! A couple people looked at me like, What did you say? I said, My Wonkas! I'm like, What do you mean? And I'm like, Well, they're in between my Willie and the Chocolate Factory. They're my Wonkas. Good Monday morning, TikTok. Uh, Y'all don't mind if I tell you a joke, do you? This uh, this postman is uh, going out to deliver mail on his last day. He's retiring, and, 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 you know, he's getting ready to hang it up. And he gets to this one lady's house, and she comes out, and she motions for him to come up to her. And she takes him in the house, and she takes him upstairs and just has her way with him. And uh, when she gets done, she gives him a silver dollar. 
takes him back downstairs, sits him at the table, and starts to prepare him a nice breakfast. And uh, the postman's sitting there, and he's kind of concerned by the events that have happened. He said, ma'am, you know, you've never talked to me, let alone all this stuff that's just happened. You know, what is going on here? She said, well, we got wind, me and my husband, that you were retiring. And I, I told my husband, I said, we should do something nice for the postman. The, my husband said, fuck him. Give him a silver dollar. She said, uh, cooking your breakfast was my idea. Mexican word of the day is choo choo. Normal person. A train goes choo choo. Mexicans. Listen, one, I'm getting sick and tired of you. If you eat my food again, I'm going to choo choo. Choo choo. <laughs> this just in: a three-year-old Nubian goat named Lincoln has been elected mayor of the Vermont town of Fairhaven. What? What was the was the fucking town drunk not available or something? So this truck driver screws down the highway, feels a little rumble in his stomach, we've all been there. So he finds the nearest spot to pull over and it happens to be a bar. He walks into the bar, you know, he's in a hurry. So he walks into the bathroom and there's a line, all the stalls are full. So he's sitting there for a minute waiting and waiting and waiting. He was like, man, there has to be no bathroom. So he walks around the bar, he walks upstairs and finds a room Empty room, nobody in it with a hole in the middle. So he proceeds to do his business in that hole. So he walks back down to the bar. He might get himself a drink, parked up for the night. And you notice there's only a couple of people at the bar, but they're up under the table. So he walks up to the bartender and asks, what's going on? The bartender tells him, I'm guessing you weren't here when the shit hit the fan. Hey, Vinny. I'm a burglar. I'm gonna smash your back door in. <laughs> hey, Vinny. You can go ahead and call me a fireman. I pretty much turn on all the hose. <laughs> hey, Vinny. Hey, yeah. You wanna go on an eight with me? An eight. Yeah, I'll give you the D later. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Vinny. Yeah. You should run a hot dog stand. Yeah, hey, what? Because you sure know how to make my wiener stand. <laughs> An electrical engineer named Mido is sentenced to prison. On the very first night, he meets his cellmate, Big Joel, who's actually a very nice man, contrary to what his name might suggest. And he goes to sleep that night comfortable, he's not going to get raped. And at 9 p.m. sharp, the lights go out. He asks Big Joel why in the morning, and Big Joel just says, I don't know, it's just the way it is. And they go off to breakfast. At breakfast, they only have one thing to eat. Strange brownies sold by a company named Drea. But Mido eats his brownie because he doesn't really care. And that night, he goes to sleep. Lights turn off. He doesn't like this, so in the morning, he collects up all the brownies he can, and he steals a big old battery from the guards, and he uses the brownies to make a con brownie, and he smuggles the battery into his cell that night. And of course, that night, because he's an electrical engineer and hooks up the battery, the lights don't go out in his cell. He is the talk of the prison the next morning, and somehow word gets around to Big Joel. Everyone wants to know how he did it. And Big Joel just says, it wasn't me, it was Mido. Mido's Condry is the powerhouse of our cell. How do gays refer to hemorrhoids? <laughs> Hello, big boys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know. They I, I'm far from being gay, so I don't know. <laughs> they refer to them as speed bumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And you, you had to act it out. Unbelievable! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> You're all. <laughs> That's like me riding my damn truck uh, hitting his feet. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious today. <laughs> I can't <laughs> I can't do this with you today. <laughs> you're you're in rare form today. What the hell? <laughs> Cause I know what kind of pain I go through with speed bumps. And you're even tearing. Wow. Dad, I got a joke for you. <laughs> All right, go for it. <laughs> what kind of bees produce milk? <laughs> I don't know. Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, right, what's kicking, chicken and squirrel? And I got another joke for you. This man, he goes, he goes to the sperm bank. He's gonna see, you know, he wants to check on his sperm count. Well, the woman, she. Behind the counter, she hands him a jar, and she says, Okay, you bring this back tomorrow full. He said, All right. 
Well, he comes back the next day, he hands her the jar, and well, the jar, it's empty. She said, there's nothing in it. He said, I know. He said, I tried it with my right hand, tried it with my left hand, still nothing. So I called my wife into the room. She tried it with her right hand, she tried it with her left hand, still nothing. So we called our neighbor. She tried it with her left hand, she tried it with her right hand, she even tried it with her mouth, nothing. The lady behind the counter said, you asked your neighbor to help? He said, yeah, we couldn't get the jar open. Brian, tell me a joke. Hey, Corey. Hey, what? How do you get rid of pubic lice? How? You shave one half of your pubes, and then you set the other half on fire, and when they scurry out, you just flick them off. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. This just in, ladies and gentlemen, carnival worker in Alabama arrested after butt-dialing his friend while having sex with his dog and recording the act. Over to sports. Kevin? Hey, I got another joke for you. All right. All right, teacher comes into class morning, she, she starts talking to, to the kids in class about the birds and the bees. She goes on explaining to the kids how whenever a man and a woman fall in love, Nine months later, the stork brings them a, brings them a baby. Yeah. Look, Johnny's sitting in the back of the class. You know, he's he's thinking for a second. He raises his hand. He's like, Miss, I, I think you've got it all messed up. I, I, think, I think you're mixing your birds up because my sister just had a baby. And uh, she said that, that it was from the black pecker at the beach. Morning, Mexican word of the day is... Wi-Fi. Normal person. Does anybody know the password for the Wi-Fi? Anybody? Mexican! I'm going to get flowers and I'm going to tell my wife I love her. Wi-Fi! <laughs> Little Johnny's mom gets a phone call from the school. It's a principal. The principal said, you need to come get little Johnny, he's suspended for a week. She said, okay. She goes to school and little Johnny's sitting there and she says, little Johnny, what'd you do? Little Johnny said, First of all, it's not my fault. The teacher said we can ask him any question we want. She said, all right, what'd you ask him? I said, what's the capital of Thailand? He said, Bangkok, so that's what I did. I banged him right in the fucking cock.